Or maybe she was asking what kind of drink they need too long. But baby, we could buy our own drink. You know what I'm saying? Or if you ask me what kind of drink, ask the person who brought it. it bit, if I was sitting beside Beyonce and Jay-Z at a game, I really don't give a fuck who I am. I'm not even going to speak. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Beyonce and Jay-Z is beside me. Don't trip because you know you're going to bring somebody who ain't never sat on floor seats ever in their life. <laughs> Beyonce and Jay-Z right there. Don't trip. We just gonna act like they ain't here. You hear me? I do that now. Hell. I, I, I was set back on my mission. I didn't follow intuition. Back then I didn't wanna listen. But now I'm gunning for redemption. I want redemption. I want it. I got it. I want it. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. And yeah, I'm hungry. Um, got a little lunch right here. I'm trying to eat meat for seven days. Uh, or at least not like beef, steak. Shit like that. So, I got a salad and um, some kale and pinto bean patties. They're actually pretty good. This video is 34 minutes long, which is um, a video from I Am Zoe. Clearly Messy Monday. So, we about to get to it. You know what I'm saying? He uploaded it late last night. So, I didn't have a chance to react last night. But, um... Let's get to it. If you need CBD, the link will be in the description. Also, if you need merch, the link will be in the description as well. I got a party coming up July 21st. Let's just fucking get it real lit. Okay, let's get it. Will you have some tea with me? This is ginger dressing. I'm talking about the ginger that you have at Nakado. Mm, so good. Hey, creeps, and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POP, and that is pretty on purpose. How are you doing? I just want to say, before we get into this Messy Monday, it was a lot of things that took place this week, and this Messy Monday is one of the first Messy Mondays that I actually am affected by what has happened in the Messy Monday. Um, so before I start, I just want to say um, to everyone that is watching, even though y'all are out here being messy sometimes, even though y'all fight with each other, it never should get to the point to where you want to hurt somebody to the extent where it leads to death. It's okay to argue. It's okay to disagree. It is okay to even fight here and there if you have to. Sometimes you gotta let somebody know, hey, I'm not the one. But it should never get to the point to where you severely hurt or kill someone. I'm just lost at words on one of the stories I have to talk about. I don't want to say the wrong things, okay? So um, I'm gonna try my best to keep it as professional as possible on that story and we'll go on from there. Well, with that being said, Let's get into this mess. All right, so y'all already know about to go on. We talk about the shit, and that's the sugar honey ice tea. Okay. <laughs> All right, so first one, sugar honey ice tea. We got DJ Khaled, and we have Tyler over here. Now, DJ Khaled, don't cuff my baby. I love Tyler. That's my man, and I will fight anybody for him. I know you f***ing lying. But anyway, fat ass. Uh, uh, what you will not do. Let's talk about Khaled like that. Nah, what happened? I'm talking about you. Who gonna pop me? Fuck nobody. Anyway, I guess DJ Khaled released the album too or a song or whatever. I don't really keep up with that Dunkin' Donuts, Goodberry Doughboy. But I do know Todd Crane had released the album. I like it. That's all that matter. So he posted and it is now number one. Honey, who has it? Go ahead, Tyler. Go ahead, Tyler. DJ Khaled had took to Instagram and he made a post and delete. I make albums so people can play it. You actually hear it, you know, driving your car, you hear another car playing it. Girl, for what, huh? So? You know, go to the barbershop, you hear them playing it, you know, turn the radio on, and you hear them playing it, you know, it's playing everywhere. It's called great music. Come down, sir. Huh? What? Okay. It's called albums that you actually hear the songs. Not no mysterious shit, and you never hear it. That is just above you now. <laughs> Wait a minute, what happened though? Like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> so I was like, okay, we are friends. I would have to say, I don't know what you're 
Carter, he responded to a tweet and liked it in reference to what DJ Khaled was talking about. And I'm just like, baby, don't even go there. I like how you unbothered just even more. But this just goes to show how DJ Khaled is not as humble and positive as he comes off to be if he's not number one. First of all, DJ Khaled said that his wife has to give him head and he ain't got to give her head. I've been over him since then. You know what I'm saying? You don't just be, I don't get that. You can give me head. Like, you got to give me head. Because he said, like, he ain't going without it. But he he can't give her head? I would have been done with his ass then. I was really done with his ass then. However, I ain't going to lie. I don't get this. So. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He should have just went to the studio and made another one. <laughs> Let me see. He had 16 songs. Only five was good. We're going to send this to the same punishment y'all gave Nicki Minaj when she came for Travis. So, what's that? Y'all are going to jail. Period. Oh, my God. Case. So, this is the Chicago Ice Tea. We have Bandy. Bandy is back after three or four months of hiatus. I don't know where she went. I know she was locked up. If she was going through hormone pills, I don't know what she was going through. But, honey, she went through and she succeeded and she's back and she's better than ever. Hey, I think you might be insane. Got to make that she came back with some promo deals with a new clothing line. So shout out to Bambi. Bambi, welcome back, sis. Okay, with the crinkle purple. Bambi, did you pay for this promotion? Because this is promotion. <laughs> I think you paid for that. If he don't say nothing bad, she paid for that. But anyway, that's her tea, that's her deal, that's her shit. Sugar honey ice. Tea. So that's so funny. There wasn't no damn sugar got, honey uh, ice tea. Mega McQueen. So honey, Mega McQueen. He's getting ready to go to jail for, yeah. I think, six months, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. I was living at the old Aqua headquarters, mm -hmm. and that security guard wouldn't let me inside my crib. So I slapped the phone out of his hand. Now, apparently, you know, the charge was bad. It's six months, so let's just relax. That's what you get for talking about Chris. Calm down. Oh, it's a bitch, isn't it? <laughs> Wait, what? <sighs> I ain't gonna lie, nigga. Almost made me cry when I watched it. But I cry, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is gonna be my last video for six months, y'all. Anyway, what? That ain't none of my business, girl. You better go and you better take that little curl out your head before you go up in there, girl, because they sure gonna dig up in that water all day. Oh, and my God. Mega McQueen, because you sure gonna be somebody. Queen, sir. It's above you now. Yes, you better sound so well. Mm. This nigga oh, stupid. Girl, and then McQueen come for him. Talk about a back and forth. That'll be a real back and forth right there. That's what's going on with her, and that's what's going to be going on in her. <laughs> Lord Jesus, be the fence. <laughs> oh, God, I'm sorry. You ain't right. Anyway, well, uh, Mega McQueen. <laughs> you ain't right. you going to come out of Mega McQueen. Next to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Hey, hold on. <laughs> It's only funny because McQueen asked, he did. He went for Chris so bad. When he found out Chris was going to jail, oh my God, he came for Chris so bad. Oh, when he found out he was in jail. So, you know. Okay. Don't drive the south. Oh, He's stupid. Face, you bitch ass hater. The caption, the captain told you that we could, the captain told you that we could be lit on the plant. I can't. The hell wrong with you? The captain told you that we could be lit on the plant. Can't read it. Okay. <laughs> he goes on to say things about gay, homophobic stuff, and this and that, and don't go on American Airlines because. The Playing always shaking. Okay. I said, sis, that's turbulence. I don't give <laughs> like a fuck. Then she said, we ain't got no TVs. And I, 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 don't, I don't care for American Navy. You need a jet. Okay? You need a, you need a, I ain't gonna lie. 
Now, the baby is making different money. <clears throat> but if the baby can get, get order all these private jets, damn it, you can too. However, you do have at least 21 kids. So maybe they get that private jet money. But child, get on a jet. Oh, man, that's what you need to do. Get your own. Boosie, yeah. I love you, you cool. But in, in, in this whole situation, all I heard was colorism, homophonic, anti-black, and everything else. I was just like, you know what? At this point, I had to turn my volume down just to read the phone because even <laughs> from lowercase and in, in, in capital case letters, and I was just like, oh, my God, is he yelling? What's going on? All I heard was, hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> He's stupid. Girl, the person that at the gate should have said, Poopsie, <laughs> it's above me now. <laughs> but it is what it is. That's what happened. I, I, I don't even know what happened. I still don't know what the problem was. All I know is that he's just angry. I think he might have showed up late. And they didn't let him on the damn plane. Poopsie, he's going to be on that plane. And they mm. said, No, ma'am. <laughs> Next plane! <laughs> I'm gonna send this to buy your own jet. Alright, so that's all I got for the sugar honey iced tea. Let's get into the mess. First of the guy, we have Beyonce and Nicole. Well, Beyonce and Jay Z were. First of all, listen. Don't nobody wanna fucking go to the game and somebody right there talking across me to my man. You know what I'm mean? saying? Like, she was just. Excuse me, Beyonce. Um, if you don't get the fuck, <laughs> we trying to watch the game, obviously. Yeah, man. Invited to the Warriors games like they always are. Sure. They've been there a couple of times That's before, hilarious. and this time it happened to have been a so-called problem. Well, Beyonce was sitting in the middle of Jay Z and Nicole, and this is what happened. And he ain't paying you no attention. Okay. It's like, well, girl, move. Get out of my yeah, way. I got hold of that. They were just like, what's going on? Man? What's the call, sir? What's going on? Why you leaving on topic? And y'all stopped because they gave a little nudge. She gave a little face. And it made it seem as though she was over it that this woman that called called the Beyonce 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 her man has more money than him. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Jay Z leaning over, which everybody thought was very much rude. So Beehive said, "No, ma'am, we got something to use for." They went over to her Instagram and they made fun of her. They left that goddamn so Beehive. It was ridiculous. I was like, I that Beehive know. is on a whole nother level, bro. They a whole army out here. Facts. Uh -uh. I don't ever want to be out of attack me ever. Me and either. Don't play. And she calls me cold to then turn off her comments. She was upset. She then took to the thing and she told her side of the story. She said she was just asking what kind of drink they wanted. It was loud in the facility. That's why Beyonce was looking at looking the way she looked. I don't know. No, I Beyonce did look mad. The story. She seemed very much aggravated, but maybe the lady breast neck or something. <laughs> I don't know. You know, sometimes I'm both breast and you're like, mm. I back it up a little bit. Your breath is a little hot. So maybe that's what it was. Well, maybe she was asking what kind of drink they need too long. But baby, we could buy our own drink. You know what I'm saying? Or if you ask me what kind of drink, ask the person who brought it. it be, if I was sitting beside Beyonce and Jay-Z at a game, I really don't give a fuck who I am. I'm not even going to speak. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Beyonce and Jay-Z is beside me. Don't trip because you know you're going to bring somebody who ain't never... Sat on floor seats ever in their life. <laughs> Beyonce and Jay Z right there on trip. We just gonna act like they ain't here. You hear me? I do that now. Hell. Well, they got breakfast tart. So anyway, to a celebrity. And then all of a sudden, here comes a woman friend, and she's just like, "Oh my God, it hurt my friend." And I'm like, "Okay, here go the white woman sympathy cry, honey girl. Sit down, some of this is not even serious. Okay. People get bullied every day. Gay folks get beat up, bashed, and talked about. Black folks get called nigga and put in jail. Get killed for no reason. Shut the fuck up. Twenty-four hours, girl. Shut the hell up. Okay. I understand she hurt, but honestly, they told us they stuff. Look, kids get bullied again in all the time. I'm not saying it's right, but shut the fuck up. Stop it. People with money that like ain't they ain't they tell me when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> if it ain't about me, don't get drinks for Beyonce and Jay Z. No worries. Hey, 
Pam, 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 and Bianca, whatever her name is, I don't know. But anyway, so they just had a baby, and when they had the baby, they were in the hospital, and they were just very much going back and forth about the color of the baby. Well, she about to be my color. I'm about to finally have somebody in the family that's my color. Cause DJ and Kyrie, they like use it. She's not be your color. Well, I, you know I used to be light skinned too, so. And they were just like, oh, the baby's gonna be dark, the baby's gonna be light, the baby eyes. That's what you gonna have pretty eyes, light blue eyes. She do got pretty eyes. Like blue, and, like, and it seemed like they were more so hoping that the baby does not be dark skinned. Yeah, she's gonna be either. She's just color a little bit darker. No, she's gonna be darker than DJ. If you look at her nose and her ears. Her ears. First of all, I just want everybody to know that that is some bullshit. We all know black people. Excuse me, anybody else? I don't know. I can't tell you because I ain't no other color than black. But you always say, oh, he came out light. And your mama will say, he gonna get dark because he just came out or whatever. Or his eyes gray. They may change colors because his uncle eyes change colors. Get the fuck out of here. That's why I didn't react to that shit. Like, man. Yeah. Here's he was stupid. So then, all of a sudden, the nurse has to say, yeah, she's beautiful. beautiful. The nurse said, the baby's gonna, either way, she's beautiful. Yeah, we knew why the baby was beautiful. They was just talking. That shit's stupid. What the baby color gonna look like? What the baby look like? don't react to a portion of the video. This is obvious that it's a portion of the video. But I swear, I know. I know. <laughs> They wasn't just like, ooh, <clears throat> I want my baby to be light. I want my baby to be dark like like that. Look like if she misses. Why? Yo, look how dark her ears is. Let me see. Is it? Focus. But look at that. You saw how dark her ears is? Right. So then the people on the internet got upset and they called them colorists. Because oh. I had blue eyes when I was born. Sorry. I thought she was going to have pretty eyes. Light blue eyes. She do got pretty eyes. Light blue Because, for the simple fact, it has been said that Damien don't like dark skinned girls and he don't date dark skinned girls. Now, I'm not saying it's wrong for him to have a preference, but when your preference makes it seem like you think the other shade is not attractive, then that's when it becomes a problem. And that's what the people are starting to. What's wrong with. Matter of fact, since we talking about this, when I did my smasher pass or whatever, people were saying that I wouldn't fuck with big girls. They we didn't they didn't go light skin, dark skin. Cause I let you know. I don't give a fuck if you're light or dark. If I like you, bitch, I like you. But not only that, I also said if you're big, you know what I'm saying, or my size or, or whatever, I fuck with you too. I, I, people try to turn everything into some bullshit. <clears throat> I don't care what you're doing. The field. So they started going crazy on the internet. People talked about them, which caused them to come out and make uh, another video. My sisters have never got compliments about their eyes. My mom always told me that everywhere we went, everybody was like, oh my gosh, your daughter has such pretty eyes. Brown eyes don't get complimented like green eyes or hazel eyes or blue eyes. Now when I said to her, I wish you had pretty eyes, I didn't mean it as if she has ugly eyes. So basically what the situation is, apparently we were saying some colorist things. I guess we're colors now? Mm -hmm. I guess we're colors. So that's what we're about to be discussing. But at the end of the day, don't ever judge a book by its cover. A lot of people were saying, a lot of people was judging us off a 30 second clip that was posted on these other platforms without even watching a full video or even knowing who he is. And so, honey, as they made that video, uh, they then made another video. They fucked up my shit, bro. Who? I don't know. What do you mean? So, I watched this too, and I think this fake. You know, you know they throw something fake together. I don't, my shit, my fucked up. My lemon. Oh, look. I don't believe it. Uh -huh. I feel like they spray painted it just to have a video and drag oh, out the yeah. colors thing because people are calling color. Somebody had vandalized their car. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my God. It, might, it might be yes, real. Bro. What does it say? Colorist. It says colorist, bro. And it's. They spray windows. Look at this shit, man. Colorist, bro. I, I wanted to almost tell him to wash it off so I know it's real. 
That's a shame that you automatically think everything is fake. But they, they have done a lot of fake, 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 fake shit. So you just really never know if it's real. But it might be real. And if it is real, then this is ridiculous. Hey baby, I'm not done. When you touch that car, I saw that paint come off a little bit. You can go to, I think, Home Depot, Walmart, or whatever, Lowe's, whoever, and there's this spray paint that YouTubers Watch have used off. for when you want to prank your girlfriend or boy. Hey, let me know what it is, because I got a lot of cars to spray. Spray paint their car or prank anybody. And the paint is washable. Funny Mike has done that prank. Mm -hmm. Um. Perfect so a lot of people too. are thinking that they did it themselves to try to get sympathy to take the attention off of them being colorist. Baby, I don't well, know. I think they just did it to get for content. Like, Ciao. And it didn't stop there. He then decided to... <laughs> what? Look it up. And then, look. Oh, you came he showed it on the camera. <laughs> Sir. What? Nah. I mean, I'm just trying not to get emotional, bro. Because I know. Man, I hate when I do this, bro. Only cry at funerals. I just. First of all, now, like I said, if this is real, you let your Lambo get spray painted and it's real <laughs> and see if that shit don't hurt your fucking feelings because that shit would have hurt mine. Now, I've never seen they man cry, but like I said, they've done so much fake shit as a collective. That's what they do. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not even talking about pranks. They have gone beyond that shit. So <clears throat> them faking that, I, I'm not going to say I, I, I don't. I didn't see that coming. But maybe they didn't. But um, him crying about it, I'd be crying about my Lambo too. Shit. That would have been a, you know what I'm saying, a bully type move for somebody to do some shit like that. Bro, this whole couple away. Throw them away because I ain't got time for it. I'm bitch. You, <laughs> you might have your car. But as long as you safe, as long as the kid is safe. So that matters, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying like Y'all can't be replaced. That's like the start of something. You know what I'm saying? Like what if it gets worse? Oh. How many worse? I forgive them for doing it. You don't even know who he is. So you just forgive him? I said we you know, we made you thought that he feel offended. We made you feel offended. I'm s Bitch! I don't believe it. I don't know if it's real or fake, y'all. Somebody don't slap this fool. <laughs> you know what? At the end of the day, it is what it is. I, I ain't got to talk. I know y'all like, why the hell you drinking this big ass water? Y'all, over the, the past week, I've been feeling like I'm about to pass the fuck out. I actually almost fainted at one point. Being dehydrated, not eating right and all that. I need that water. <laughs> it's above me now. <laughs> If you don't mind me asking here. That's on Kevin. Uh, it's, it's, it's no, a, she looked at my right. friend. Oh, she's Wait a minute, what? <laughs> well, while she was up there, now I figured out why she's cool with Black China because, honey, she's over there rocking her cradle too, just like Black China, honey, now when you got a new friend. How 
okay. Kevin, Kevin if, you don't, if you don't mind me asking here. That's not Kevin. It's not, it's no, a, she looked at my right. friend. Look, she's having fun. She's free. Let her have a little fun. She got a little tenderoni. She's going to go gobble, gobble on some of that meat. Give him a little neck. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You don't choke. No. Ah! She don't she choke. Don't <laughs> <laughs> she don't choke. <laughs> He get on my nerves, bro. He gets on my last nerve. So at the end of the day, about me. When the boy got her some young Next game. Now, before I get into this next story, I want to take a moment of silence for the individual that lost their life during this mess. Wonderful. So, y'all know um, that Naima Beef and um, Naima and I forgot the other girl name. I can't think of her name, but the young uh, girls that's always on here fucking arguing and fighting and shit. <clears throat> Somebody done ended up dead. And I said, they need to stop before somebody end up dead. Man, damn. Next on this docket, we have Naima mm. and Isha. Now, y'all know huh? um, Naima and Isha, they were going back and forth. It was a long time ago. A whole bunch of mess was going down. Everybody was just going crazy. This is when I even was coming to Atlanta. And she came down here with her friend named Grail. And I'm going to take y'all back down the timeline. But, you know, we'll just go with what is allegedly. So, Naima came down here with Grail. And Grail and them were with, I guess, Brandon and all that. I think Isha and them were with her as well, if I'm not mistaken. This is months back again. Grail was ready to go. She was ready to meet somebody else. And because Naima was taking so long, Grail was getting a little agitated. And he was like, can we go, can we go, can we go? And Naima told him, if you're ready to go, you can go. So Grail then went back a little and told Isha and that Naima said, if we want to go, we can go. We can get out of her car, whatever, whatever. And that's not what Naima said. Naima said, Grail, if you want to go. You hear how stupid this is? Like, nah, you could go if you want to go. Oh, she said we could go if we want to go. What the fuck? Where we going? We riding with her. I don't know. That's what she said. Like, what the fuck, bruh? Man, this shit's so stupid, bro. You can go. <sighs> and so it then caused a whole bunch of drama. And that's when Isha got mad at Naima and was like, if you don't want me to ride with you, you could have told me. And things just went crazy from there. People went live. They, start, they had one fight. That fight happened. Then Naima ended up going live again, saying she had spit on Isha. Isha heard it. Then it came to another fight. It was just crazy. It's just crazy, crazy, crazy. A boy dead because that's how that started. Naima keep talking. Real okay. here. He busted and it had caused other people to start fighting. Um, it was some of the gay boys, they started fighting, one of them got jumped. It was a whole lot, a whole lot. So then Naima ends up going home. Months later, Rail goes home to Rail's car ends up getting vandalized. Right, he says that. Naima did it. They end up on the court from what we saw on the internet. Oh, Lord, um, I ain't it's a whole bunch court. of mess. It just started getting too crazy. If y'all remember, I said this stuff needs to stop or Before somebody's going to get, get, get killed. hurt. Mm -hmm. That is what I said after Rail's car got messed up. I was like, okay, now they're taking it too far. Mm -hmm. These people vandalizing people's stuff. Someone's going to get hurt. So that brings us to now. Everything had died down. Everything was good. Naima then goes live and she's out with her mother and things were safe. Ain't nobody saying no fing Isha story. Ain't nobody give a shit about that chick or any of this bullshit. I really wish y'all stopped talking about that bitch. Wait a minute. <laughs> Your mama was in it too? Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus! <sighs> I was asking the whole time, where everybody mama's at? Where they at? 